Hi, this is 365801 and this is my manga haul video for the month of October 2021. So I am actually filming this, I think, midway through October and it's because I already have a sizable little stack there. It's more than seven, which is my kind of maximum. We should just say that as a guide now at this point of the year. It's just a guide. And um, I have not quite double, it's not quite double, um, but it's, it would be double by the time I got to the end of the month if I waited to film. So I'm going to just film now. Um, I do have some really great titles in here that I'm really excited to have in my collection now. Ones that I've been on the lookout for ages and some newer titles as well. Um, but a lot of ones that fill gaps in my collection, so some out of print titles too. And oh, very excited, very excited about the ones that I've got for the month of October. And some kind of appropriate ones, I think, for October as well. Um, I'm very happy to show you, so let's just get on into it. So this first title that I want to show is the one that you can see on the thumbnail. So everyone already knows what this title is before uh, it gets unwrapped. And that is Olympus and that is by Aki. Aki is someone who I love and I love with uh, all my heart because her artwork is just gorgeous and her storytelling ability is really lovely and her choice of topics is always so interesting. I was able to pick this particular volume up, um, I think through a store from America and it was only six dollars plus um, like less than three dollars shipping so it's nine nine dollars and six cents or something which is probably only about seven pounds fifty or maybe maybe eight pounds at a push which is amazing because it's been so difficult to find a good copy or even an acceptable copy for less than 20 pounds so uh, this one is quite a tricky one this is actually two volume series that um, Yen Press just published as an omnibus and you can tell because in the middle of it there is a kind of divider where they've got some um, colour pages as well and the artwork is just so stunning. Aki is just amazing. She just has the most beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, and the colour images are so detailed, the costumes are so detailed. You just know that um, so much love and care and attention has gone into her works. Olympus is something I read years ago and I didn't even know that it had been published um, until fairly recently and then I started looking out for her works and realised that they were difficult to find in the UK or even in Europe and if you could get them they were very expensive or very beat up or both and this one is a fairly beat up copy there's a bit of um, damage to the edges and it is quite a big chunky boy so you know it's kind of a bit beat up and I know that um, it's been published for quite a while now, so um, it is, you know, not not at its best, but it was published in June 2012, so it's almost 10 years old. Um, it is the story of Ganymede, who is kind of taken and put in a sort of, if I remember correctly, some sort of weird half-world space. Lots of flowers and just left there to be bored so that the gods of ancient Greece can just look at how beautiful he is and and just it's like you know like reality tv shows you know like big brother type thing like watching on high oh what's you know day 4072 in the big brother house you know except it's not it's for Ganymede and um, I just feel for him because it is a sort of thing about immortality if we were to kind of feel it, it basically Olympus is about uh, the the frailty of life <laughs> the fragility of life our own mortality 
It's kind of like an exposition essay in the most beautiful flowery language about what it means to exist and and what is existence and what is the purpose of life. Um, or at least that's what I remember when I read it years and years and years ago. It made me stop and think, you know, because so much of our, our life is about living for as long as possible. But then what's the point of living for as long as possible? Isn't it the point to live as as deeply or as as satisfyingly as possible rather than for just any length of time and I think with the last couple of years you know with a lot of people being trapped in their houses and not being able to get out and that sense of well what am I actually doing with my life what is my purpose in life I feel like Olympus is like a, a really incredibly important uh, work to read I think at this point in my life, I think it might be um, a good one to kind of go, okay, okay. It's it's kind of like saying carpe diem, seize the day, live your life as much as you can because, you know, you never know, you might be a pretty boy that the, <laughs> the gods want to take and make live forever. Um, I don't want that at all. Um, the pretty boys don't just stop with Ganymede. All of the characters are pretty gorgeous and beautiful and I do have to say that Yen Press well done on the cover because the background isn't just like a cream it's like an iridescent shiny uh, pearl colour you know the kind from well this is going to age me a bit but you know the kind from like the early 2000s like maybe 2001 2002 when everyone was wearing shimmery body glitter but not like glitter glitter but just like tiny specks of it so you had this pearlescent kind of shine all over your body or at least everyone I knew did and I went out and bought some and I think I still have it somewhere in my loft <laughs> this old stuff but it's so beautiful on a book you know I don't want it on me but on this book it is gorgeous um so yeah another Aki one to add to my Aki collection I love Aki so much now because I was on a little Aki buying spree, I thought I would just check out to see if I could find another Aki title that has been published that I do not own, that I would like to own, and that is Utahime, the songstress, um, obviously by Aki. And this is published by Digital Manga Publishing, so it does have the DMP purpleness around it. This is also obviously an incredibly beautiful story, but it is a little bit more like the Angel, Angel of Elhamburg because it's kind of one of these medieval-esque, um, European-esque kingdoms and it involves the same kind of thing that comes up in a lot of Aki's works when it comes to like those that have powers or those that are apart from society or above or separate from society in terms of what they are able to do or achieve or the gifts, natural gifts that they hold that set them apart from the average person and therefore can actually cause them to have uh, difficulty in life. That's where their trauma is, that's where their difficulties are. And this is all about the songstress who is able to have a powerful voice and it's usually passed down from uh, one female to another and um, it's about a brother and sister pair. And so it's kind of got a bit of BL vibes in it as well, I, I, if I remember. I haven't read it yet because it just came in and I'm like, oh, it's so gorgeous. And I remember it being just lovely and wonderful and the artwork is just perfect it's just so aki i just love her work so much so i was able to get this for an amazing price because once again these aki works are so difficult to get in the uk and very expensive so utahime i have seen oh, for months like i've been following a few different things on ebay and it's just like this is so expensive and i cannot afford 40 dollars on a single volume even if it is a nice thick large trim size one, I cannot spend $40 on it. And then because I was looking at the Olympus one, I found on World of Books through Abbey Books, they were selling one for £2.44 and then of course with postage of £2.75. So it was, well, 
five pounds nineteen. I was like, yes, buy, 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 buy. Okay. <laughs> I can't help it when I see something that that good a price. I have to buy it because um, I've been waiting for years, literally years. It's probably been about four, four and a half, five years since I was like, oh, I didn't realize Aki had had some of her works published in English. I wonder if I can get some. And then it was like, no, because they're too expensive or you can't find them. So I'm so happy to have Utahime. I like Olympus because it, it was really thought provoking, whereas Utahime was like, oh, I'm going to crush your heart and make you feel all the feels. Um, and that's that's kind of also there's a mood, <laughs> there's a time and a place for that. Um, and also beautiful, beautiful artwork. So another wonderful Aki to add to my collection. They're not, you know, standard BL, but her beautiful boys are very much in that strike zone for me. So they're in the BL strike zone. <laughs> Let's just be, we're going to put them in the BL strike zone along with things like Haikyuu. <laughs> There's a strike zone, okay? I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to have to make a video about the BL strike zone that's not technically BL, but all BL fans love. And I think all BL fans like Aki. So yeah, it's definitely something to add to the collection. So this next title is one that is part of a series that I just started last month and picked up from a secondhand seller because it was super, super cheap. It was $4.99, which is really good. I mean, I think... I got the first volume for about five or six pounds and so I, I thought oh, I'll check to see if they've got any of the captive prints on eBay for a bit cheaper because they are quite expensive for about 12 or 16 pounds or something um, for brand new so I thought oh, I'll check to see if there's anyone selling them uh, second hand but what I saw was Spence volume 2 which is obviously by C.S. Pcat, Joanna the Mad and Joanna La Fuente um, I love the fact that it's colour all the way through. I think it's going to be something I enjoy, a sort of um, haiku but for fencing, you know, like uh, rivals to maybe something more. Um, and I know that there is four volumes and then two extras. Is volume four called The Rivals or is it volume four and then Rivals and then something else as well? Anyway, I've seen more than one and I know that there is volumes one, two and three and then there might be four and then there might be something else. So I have a few more to pick up and if I can get them for $4.99 then I will be picking them up because that's a really good price. So I'm very happy to... Um, add this to the collection and carry on and it does mean that if I like the first volume I can uh, just carry on reading uh, with volume two so I'm very happy to have it it's so nice the big trim size all the color um, and it feels really good quality as well so um, a very good one to add to my collection and add to my CS Pacat um, I am on the lookout for a good price for Dark Rise if you can get it because <laughs> Pretty much the day after it was launched, it was kind of sold out everywhere in, in the UK. They did not bring enough copies over. And um, and then when they did, they were like kind of like scalping prices over 20, 25 pounds or something. And I thought, well, that's not recommended retail price, is it? So um, I think I can wait and see if I can get Dark Rise for a better price at some point. The lovely hardback looks nice. So I do want to read that one as well. So the next lot of books I have to show you are some Amazon purchases that I just had to do because they were such good prices and I've had them in my shopping cart for ages and so when the price goes down it's kind of like a win-win for me. So The Greatest Villain, this is obviously Net Comics um, and I managed to pick this up for £7.62 which is a really good price for um, Net Comics. Um, I do think I bought the first uh, chapter digitally, so I kind of know what it's about, but I haven't got the full volume and I don't know what the rest of the story is. I also got a uh, volume four of Intense um, for £7.53 and that's really good because these are usually quite expensive 
and I've been waiting and waiting for them to go down and a couple of times they do go down to around the six seven pounds mark and then I'm like I should probably buy it and then I don't buy it and then it goes right back up to like 16 pounds and so I'm always disappointed and the last one I got was to take an enemy's heart volume 5 by Yusa for six pounds 91 um, and these ones I think volume 1 or 2 is quite tricky to get hold of now so it might be difficult for me to get them all but they're all net comics and I'm very happy to have them in my collection now I did mention um, to take an enemy's heart it uh, has nine volumes in total and I think I have volume six um, that I got for a cheap price too and volume five now so I have two maybe three out of this series I'll have to check again and actually take a proper record of it um, but yeah they're lovely and they look beautiful um, but I have not read any of it because I need to get the volume one and I did think I should probably go back and look for volumes one and two and then start to look for the later volumes as well because they do start to go out of print and become more difficult and honestly I couldn't find one so I'm a little bit like maybe I've already missed the boat on that one and it will be put in my difficult to find look out for it try not to spend a lot list and um, the ones that are available I should just pick up when I can when they're as good a price as I can get them um, but yeah £6.91 is a really good price for this single volume um, anything under £7 I think from Net Comics is a pretty good deal so I will keep an eye out for some more to take an enemy's heart um, it is like I said a nine volume series so quite a long one but um, an interesting one I think to collect now as I mentioned I had previously purchased the first chapter of the greatest villain and I don't know where I bought it I don't know if I bought it I think I actually bought it through Amazon and then it might have gone on one of the um, well obviously it was on net comics online anyway but I, I don't think anyone actually uses their own service um, but yeah this one for only what is it seven pounds just over 750 I mean it is thick it is really thick there's a lot to it I was kind of like expecting it to be thinner than this but it is super thick and heavy so there's a lot of story in this one um, I don't know much other than it's all about someone who's like you know two people who are rivals from day one like literally kindergarten they're enemies <laughs> and I think that's kind of how it's supposed to be um, so yeah the greatest villain I just remember thinking the first chapter was very stupid and very silly and very Korean like you know what I'm talking about like old Korean BL rather than new Korean BL like there's a difference between like the Korean web comics and the Korean BL from the past and I think the greatest villain is kind of like that but it is thick and heavy and it feels like really good quality so I'm happy I was able to get it for such a good price now the last one I'm showing you is Intense Volume 4, My Intense Lover, the lovely like bluey green cover um, and the feel of these, just like all of the ones I've got so far, the feel of the cover is just so nice. Um, I really like the sort of matte and textured finish that they have. It is also a really good deal, £7.50 is like fantastic. Um, and I almost, almost got volume three, is it, that I still haven't got? I think I have just one more of Intense to get. So ugh, I don't, I don't want to go out and buy another one. But if this one goes down to around the same price, then I would just, I would just buy it from Amazon. And then I would have the full complete set and I would have been able to collect the whole set in 2021 which would be good because at the moment I don't really want to start reading it because I know that it's supposed to be quite an emotional one and a lot of people hold it in high regard and I don't know anything about it other than it's you know looked upon well as a really good story and a very emotional story so apparently it's intense <laughs> um, but I want to sit and read it I don't want to like read one or two volumes and then go oh well I can't read this final volume because I don't have volume three so I will read it when I have all of them but um, I can only do that when I've got a really good price and it, it just keeps going up and down on Amazon up and down up and down it's always expensive on book depository 
<laughs> There's just up and down on Amazon. And every day I'm like, it's getting closer to a, a price that I'm like willing to just press buy. And then it'll shoot back up again to $16.99. And I'm like, no. So um, <laughs> one day I will get it, hopefully this year, so I can actually read it. Now, this next volume is an out of print volume. It's a June manga volume. And it's part of a series and not a complete series. <laughs> um, I think there was five volumes in Japan and I think only the three volumes were published by Junior Manga. And that's by uh, Natsuho Shino Kurashina Sensei's Passion Volume 3. Which means I have Volume 1 and Volume 3 but I don't have Volume 2 which is the most expensive volume <laughs> to get. But this one was quite expensive too. And then all of a sudden... It's, they're like buses. They literally just all turn up at the same time at reasonable prices. And that's because one seller drops their price down low and all the other sellers, it's like an automatic thing. Like they must have algorithms where they're constantly checking the prices of the books that are being sold and they all drop their price as well. And this is what seems to have happened with Kurashina Sensei's Passion Volume 3 because I saw... Um, I think it was like Wordery Specialist um, or Blackwells as well had it for £9.99 and then another secondhand bookseller had it for £9.98 because hey don't you want a secondhand copy <laughs> rather than a, a full a, you know a brand new one for £9.99 you're gonna one pence no you're gonna buy the brand new copy for the extra pence that's so stupid anyway uh, Momox, which is a seller that I sometimes uh, buy from in Germany, they were selling theirs, they dropped it down to a really great price, £6.73, and I was like, ha 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 ha, I will take yours, thank you, because Momox always has the best quality books, when they say they've got something good, it's actually very good, when they say they've got something very good, it's actually like new, and when they have something that's acceptable, it's still really good, so um, always go for Momox, they're a really great seller in Germany. Um, and I'm really happy to have this, even though I have no plans to actually read this because I don't have volume 2. It is another one of the June manga titles that's been on my list and I got it for, you know, £6. So not a bad thing to get as to the collection and it's another June, June manga title off my list to get and I'm getting less and less. And it's always nice, that feeling is like, ah, the sense of accomplishment, it's just, it's still there. I'm still in my collecting mode, even though I've got two complete publishers, I know. <laughs> um, the, the hunt is still on, the hunt is still there. Now, talking about hunts for out-of-print titles, um, I got Embracing Love, Volume 3 by Yokanita, and this is the Be Beautiful imprint uh, version. And I think that means I have to get volume 2 and volume 5 because they only printed 5 volumes before they went out of business. And then of course Sublime saved, in inverted commas, the title and then just printed the 6 volumes. So wait, that's the majority of them, that's it, that's all we're getting. And it goes on for like loads and loads of volumes, so this is all we're going to get. So I would like to get this other version, even though I have the complete Sublime versions, just because it's nice to have all the Be Beautifuls and I am collecting them. Um, I did see a volume three, uh, volume two, sorry, for a good price, and then I didn't pick it up, and I was like, no, maybe it could go lower, and then someone else got it. So well done you, you got it for a good price. Uh, this one I got for six pounds ninety one, which is still, you know, it's six pounds something. It's almost seven pounds not quite, which is still a good price for this volume. Um, it is volume three, so I'm happy to add it. And it is a Be Beautiful, so it is quite old. Um, and it is in really excellent condition because once again, I got it from Momox. So, I mean, this, they say it's in very good condition. I'm like, it's literally brand new. No one has cracked the spine. It's amazing. So I'm very happy to ha have this in my collection. It's always nice to have old out of print titles that are still in such lovely condition rather than you know something that was just printed by June Manga and it's already brown and rotting and, and falling apart. <laughs> oh was that a wee dig? Um, so yeah I'm happy to add that and I still have quite a few Be Beautiful titles or at least volumes to pick up not titles I think mean, I only have the two 
Embracing Love and Kizuna. So those are the two that I need to keep working on for my Be Beautifuls. But another one to add and another one ticked off the sheet, which is nice. Now I actually have a few volumes left to show you, but this one is a, a fairly new title and it's once again a net comics title. Um, and that is Prince Barry. Uh, story is by Solanin and the art is by Mackie. Now I have had Prince Barry Volume 1 in my collection for over a year now. I don't even remember when I got it, but it's definitely been over a year. And it's in pristine, brand new condition. I got a really good one. And this one was also in really good condition. Um, I did get it from World of Books, but because I was buying Volume 2, I just kind of was like, well, I wonder if I can get the other ones. And lo and behold, uh, Volume 3 and Volume 4 were all on uh, eBay for a good price. So I ended up getting Volume 2 for $6.99, uh, Volume 3 for $5.99, and Volume 4 for $6.49. So all in all, I got the three of them for um, really good prices. And so I now have, I think, all that's been published in print. I know that they have some, like, like a lot of net comics titles. They have what's printed and bound in a tankabon, and then they have like extras or side stories. Um, and I'm not sure if some of them are just digital or if they're included in the actual volumes themselves. So I will need to find out before or during a reading to actually see if um, I need to spend some money on digital extras or side stories to be able to fully get the story. But I'm happy to have these four volumes anyway. I don't know if there's a fifth. I don't know if that's the end of it. I think it might be. Um, but I don't know enough about the story because I haven't actually read volume one because as soon as it came out I was like yay and then they were like oh there's it's ongoing. Um, but they're fairly new, I think. I don't think they're that old, um, so I'm happy to have them. I'll need to find out more, like when they were published and and more about the story. So if you know anything about Prince Barry, <laughs> you can let me know, because I really don't know anything about it other than I think it's supposed to be like ghosts and stuff. Yeah, so this was, yes, 2020, January 2020, Volume 4 was published. Um, or this one anyway. So I don't know if it's the final volume. But if you've read it, if you know anything about it, let me know because I don't. But I do think the artwork and the binding and everything is very pretty and really good quality. It feels nice and solid. So I'm happy to have them in my collection. Okay, so on to the final thing I have to show you for this month's manga haul. It is a really great title. It's one I'm super excited to have. It's one that is really difficult to get without paying an arm and a leg. And by arm and a leg, I mean arm and a leg. It is expensive and difficult to get. So when it popped up on eBay, just some someone in the UK selling their title and saying, hey, £10, plus £3.75 shipping, um, you, you, anyone want it? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do. For that price? Hells yeah. Hells to the yeah, I want it for £10. Because £10 is so much better than 50 <laughs> And I'm not joking, because that's how much it costs. It's so expensive, and then you've got to add on all the shipping from America, because that's the only place you seem to be able to get it. Anyway, the person who sent it to me, no wonder they charged £3.75 for the postage and packaging. Because the postage is like, it's like playing musical, uh, like past the parcel. Like every time the music stops, another layer, another layer. So I was really excited when it finally came out and uh, I, I finally had it in my hands. Because The Judge by Akira Homma, um, a drama queen title, has been on my to-buy list for ages and ages and ages. Akira Homma is someone who I'm kind of in love with and also I don't know enough about because she does um, like quite dark brooding stories and 
uh, like maybe violence or Yakuza. So she's mostly known for, is it Mr. Tiger, Mr. Rabbit? Um, which was a title that Jun Manga printed the first two volumes of. I have them um, and I love them. They're so funny. They're so cute and so sweet. And then she started doing almost like almost enough for a full third volume but it never got published in tankabon form in japan so we never got it in the west so you know fair play to june manga they were selling what they could sell and they couldn't sell anymore because there was nothing more even though there was actually more and uh, akira honma has since gone back and because the publisher went out of business in japan someone else was like hey can we republish these works um and hey, have you got any more to the story so she's actually gone back and she's written more to the story so the story continues their story continues and i think she's got four volumes of it out now and they're so gorgeous with the brand new covers and she's got a fifth one she's fifth volume she's working on and they're gorgeous covers and i want them so bad <laughs> And I know we're not going to get them because it's not like a licensed save that anyone is interested in except for the few people who bought it, the original Jun manga title and was like, they are so cute. It's a Yakuza story but it's like a comedy Yakuza and it's full of the tropes that you would just not enjoy now. And yet if I was reading it I'd be like happy as a wee sandboy. Uh, and um, it's just a funny one, whereas her other works are a bit more serious, a bit more heavy. Um, so yeah, The Judged, the one I've actually bought. I'm so happy to have it. It's so difficult to get hold of and it's in such amazing condition. So the person who sold it to me, thank you so much. This is going to mm, a really good home, a home that will love this and care for it. This is in brand new condition. Oh man, they really knew how to like properly published things back in the day this is first printing july 2006 originally written in 2003 um drama queen also did a uh, last portrait which i was also incredibly happy to get um and so i have the two akira hommas that were published by drama queen but she originally did this 2003 i mean these are like old stories but I mean, the fact that this was published in 2006 and it's in immaculate condition means the person who originally got this for $7.99 in the UK, that's how much it cost back in the day. So inflation, it's gone up a bit. She could have charged me a hell of a lot more and I probably would have paid. Shh. <laughs> because I have so few drama queen titles to buy now. I think I technically only have one. There's a couple of other drama queen ones that I'm not interested in because I don't think they actually count as BL and the only BL left on the list is The Summit which is a, a Korean manhwa um, which was a big long series but of course Drama Queen only published volume one because obviously that's just how it is so yes um, The Judged is a big deal for me it is now another huge tick off the I'm never going to get this so I may as well just give up type ones but I say this all the time. It's another white wheel. And I got another white wheel. So I'm really happy and excited. Um, so yeah. Uh, the judged Akira Honma. So, so happy. So here's everything that I bought in the month of October. Or at least everything that I'm showing you. <laughs> um, it's not 7. It's 12. So it's not quite um, the low number that I would hope for. But when you are given the opportunity to buy something that you've longed for such as the judged or utahime or olympus for good prices you're gonna just be like yes i will buy this and when amazon finally drop the price of something you've been watching for years and it's been in your like cart and you just haven't bought it because it's always just been a little bit too expensive you you look you buy it so it's really hard <laughs> to pass up on good deals and this is kind of how I shop this is how I add to my collection I almost never go out of my way to buy things full price I'm always on the lookout for the best deal possible I'm such a, a skin flint <laughs> I don't know if you guys use that term anywhere else a skin flint maybe it's just a Scottish thing 
You're a right wee skinflint, so you are. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm a right wee skinflint and I do try to um, tight with my money, I'm so Scottish, um, not to spend too much. And I am spending too much because I have mentioned in a couple of vlogs, I am trying to retrain as something else and not work in the profession that I was working in because it's unhealthy. So I need to save my pennies. And so I will try and do a no buy in November. As I mentioned, I have a couple of things that I know are on the way and in the process of making this video, I spotted something else that was on sale and I bought it. <laughs> Literally whilst making this video <laughs> because, because that's just how I am. But I got a really good deal for it. I got a really good deal. You, you'll see it in December <laughs> or whenever it comes. I'll try not to do a November one. Anyway. Um, I hope you enjoy the little atmospheric candle and um, my pumpkin. Uh, it does make me feel very autumnal. I will eat the pumpkin. Um, I'll probably make a soup or something out of it. Uh, we don't really do pie here. I don't really understand the pie thing. Um, they do it in Japan. They do it really well in Japan. Um, but here we don't really do pumpkin pies and pumpkins. And in Scotland, the jack-o'-lanterns aren't made out of pumpkins, or at least they aren't now, but um, when I was a child, we didn't use a pumpkin because it was so impossible to get them. Um, that's how old I, that's how old I am. Um, <laughs> pumpkin, wow! <laughs> what a luxury! How exotic! Oh, honestly, uh, we would just use a turnip, uh, a big, a big turnip, and so they're more grotesque, grotesque and more gruesome, the faces, because they're all scrawny and scrunched up and it's really hard to carve turnips um, or sweets. So yeah, there you go. Have a, have a go if you want. Have a go with a turnip and see if you enjoy that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, um, this October haul. And I'm excited about all of these. These are kind of like blasts from the past. Like some of them are old titles that have been in print for a long time or ones that I read years ago that I really want. And so, yeah, I'm really excited and happy about my haul this month and trying to avoid that next month. Anyway, ha happy Halloween slash uh, Samhain or any other um, autumnal festival things that you participate in. And um, I hope you all have a pleasant festive season and enjoy the the spooky season um, and read lots of great manga and BL. Uh, remember, every day is a BL day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!